ਕੋਈ ਚੋ ਸਮਝੇ ਸਾਬ ਦਮਨਾ ਸਾਬ ਇਹ ਨਾ ਅੰਦਾ ਚੀਤ Thank you Mr President I'm very very much mindful that we have the witness in court um I noted just pr- just prior to um, us taking the break uh, council for new and chair uh, effectively made an application for a, uh, a chain of custody to be provided for all the documents which were uh, supplied by DC cam uh, the office of the co-prosecutors opposes that application and would like to be heard, uh, when time permits uh, we, we don't think we need more than two or three minutes at, at the most to uh, uh, set out a brief reply um, and I understand that uh, the Council for the Defence are, are keen to continue with the examination so we will do so if and when your honours consider it appropriate. Thank you very much Mr President I uh, will be very brief um, the application effectively uh, seems to proceed on, on, on the basis of an assumption that there is an obligation to provide a full chain of custody uh, for every potential item that's proffered in court um, this of course is not the state of the law either before this tribunal or more, more broadly at the international level uh, I will refer very briefly to uh, relevant case law um, in the two minutes that I will use Uh, your honors of course uh, indicated in the judgment in case 1 um, at paragraphs 41 and 42 that evidence must only satisfy certain conditions of relevance and probative value uh, and you then earlier also commented um, that all that was required was minimum standards of relevance and reliability uh, and this was in your honors decisions um, e 43/4 which was a 26 of may 2009 decision and e 176 of october 2009 your honors focused fairly and squarely on the minimum requirements of relevance and reliability at no point did your honors indicate that a chain of custody or an examination of authenticity um, of original or otherwise was required Of course your honors are in good company on this point um, and your decisions are consistent with those of the international tribunals uh, I'll refer to only a couple in the Haji Hasanovich case and this is case number IT 01-47 a decision of the 2nd of August 2004 uh, the trial chamber of the ICTY held that for a document to be admitted as evidence only prima facie proof of its reliability was sufficient um, in an earlier judgment at the ICTY in the case of Tadish this was IT 94-1-10 um, another trial chamber commented that a strict approach to evidence which was being proposed by the defence in that case was not appropriate for an international tribunal that is presided over by professional professional judges um, and at paragraph 17 similar reasoning in the case of Delalich uh, a 1998 decision 19 January 1998 case number IT-96-21-T at paragraph 20 all of these changes are making it clear that what is required are prima facie relevance and reliability uh, any issues as to authenticity ultimately go to waste on that particular point Rashkic uh, case again before the ICTY case number IT-95-14 a 30th of January 1998 decision at paragraph 10 um, and last uh, before i conclude um, again in icty chamber uh, dealing with issues of chain of custody um, specifically in the case of orich uh, this is case number it-03-68-t uh, decision of the 30th or rather judgment rendered on the 30th of june 2006 where the chamber simply indicates that gaps in the chain of custody are not fatal provided the evidence as a whole can be demonstrated 
to be what it purports to be. And this is at paragraphs 27 and 28. In summary, Your Honours, we oppose the application by Nguyen Chia's team. Our submission is evidence as it stands on the case file offers sufficient indicia of relevance and reliability for it to be admitted. Beyond that point, of course, it is for Your Honours to determine what weight can be attached to any individual item. And certainly there is no requirement under international law or the law of this tribunal uh, for uh, authenticity or change of custody to be established. Thank you. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. President. I'll be um, even briefer than my colleague uh, at the prosecution. I think we discussed the legal um, issue surrounding this, uh, this question last week, and I think the positions of both sides are, are very clear, so I'm not going to repeat that. I think our submission should be seen much more in the practical light of the uh, witness statements that were delivered by this witness yesterday and today. The, witness, the questioning of the witness was intended to clarify the chain of custody of certain documents and to shed light on authenticity and reliability of documents that come from DC CAM. And it's the position of the defence that this clarity has not been provided in the slightest, and therefore the defence cannot um, verify whether the documents that come from DC CAM satisfy these minimum requirements of um, authenticity and reliability. Again, as we have stated last week, hearing Yuk-Chang might remedy this black hole in our knowledge. It may also not do so, but we only know this after hearing Yuk Chang. But for now, what we have found out that as far as the defense is concerned, we are still absolutely unclear as to the provenance and the chain of custody of large chunks of documents. And this could have been uh, clarified by the witness yesterday and today, but in the Nunchia's position, it's our position that this ha has not happened. And it's for that reason that we've asked the witness to uh, see if, or at least as the trial chamber, to order the witness to provide these lists of chains of custody uh, of the documents that are at DC camp. Whether DC camp can do so or not, maybe it's just uh, all in their files and they just have to uh, search for uh, these items in the computer. I have tried to establish during the questioning of the witness, but I have failed. Maybe uh, your honours will have more luck if you question the witness. I simply, the Nguyen Chia team simply does not know if, if DC CAM possesses this information with regard to the chain of custody, earlier custodians, where these documents were found, by whom, etc. Again, the Nguyen Chia team, and I think my colleagues in defence, uh, are totally unclear on this issue. It's for that reason that we would request such lists to be provided by DC CAM. That is the defence's position. Thank you. 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 Krom Medi Bika Bikadei Luk Yeng Zari Dami Min Okah Nek Nong Ka Nasu Deng Dao Nye Poh Sa Sai Rup Nih Nasu Mche Nye Ma Good afternoon, Mr. President. Good afternoon, Your Honours, and good afternoon to everyone in and around the courtroom. Uh, first, let me just briefly say that under international practice, as is normally is the case in other tribunals, such matters are handled outside the presence of a witness. And I do take exception. I didn't stand up. I didn't want to interrupt. I didn't want to be discourteous. But I think this puts me in a tactical disadvantage with a witness of this nature. In the future, the better course would be to alert the legal officer that a matter wishes, that the party wishes to bring a matter to the attention of the court outside the presence of the witness. That's how it's handled. As opposed to taking 15, 20 minutes of a legal argument in front of a lawyer who's here to answer questions, who's not answering the questions. And before I start my question, Your Honor, I would uh, respectfully request that the witness be refreshed of his memory that is under oath and that is here to provide answers forthrightly. Yes, 
It is our position, Your Honor, Mr. President, that the witness is confabulating, is being less than honest. So we would respectfully request that he be informed that he's still under oath and is required to answer the questions truthfully and fully. ອົງຈໍາແລະມັນຖືຕາມສະນົມປໍລະບົບລູກມິດວິເຕປີປູສະໄສລຸງນີ້ບານສະບັດຮຸຍຫາຍມົນນັ້ນ <coughs> Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, let me begin by re-asking a simple question posed to you. The question was whether at DC CAM there is a particular file on the accused Nunchia. Could you please answer this question with a yes, a no, a maybe, or I don't know? យើងមានបញ្ជីឯកសារដែលដែលធ្វើការចងក្រងឯកសារជាច្រើនហើយឯកសារនោះត្រូវបានបែងចែកទៅតាមប្រភេទរបស់វានេះគឺជាអ្
All right. Now, you indicated yesterday that no, you went to uh, Notre Dame, I believe, Notre Dame University in the United States, where you obtained an LLM. Is that correct? Did you get a master's degree? And did you go to Notre Dame because you received a scholarship? For instance, a Fulbright scholarship? Would that be one of the ways you got there? All right. And I take it uh, the classes were in English and not Khmer. So it would be fair to say that you understand English as well as speak it and read it and write it. And so when the questions were being posed to you by my colleague uh, for Nunchia, you understood his questions in English when they were being posed to you, did you not? Did you not? Are you suggesting that you didn't hear the questions at all in English? Alright, now before coming here today, did you meet with the lawyers for DC CAM to prepare you for your examination here in court? There's no legal advisor? There, there's no foreign lawyer there working at DC CAM at the moment. Who usually is often quoted it in the Cambodia Daily or the Phnom Penh Post. Alright. Did you, did you consult with anybody from DC CAM to prepare your testimony yesterday and today? Yes, no, maybe, I can't remember. And did you consult any or review any documents to prepare yourself to testify yesterday and today. Did you follow the proceedings just uh, last week that, we, that were open to the public concerning the admissibility of evidence? Alright, and so I take it also you had no conversations with, your, with the director of DC CAM concerning what happened here last week and your testimony here this week. And I only mentioned this because he was in the press commenting about what took place last week. 
Sir, sir, did you have a conversation with the director concerning your testimony here today or yesterday? Yes, no, maybe, I can't remember. All right. Now, earlier today, you were asked about whether anybody from the Office of the Prosecution uh, came to, to D.C. CAM, whether they consulted with D.C. CAM, and I believe you, you indicated no. Did I hear you correctly? มันบ้านจุกខ្ញុំផ្ទាល់នៅការប្រជុំជាមួយខ្ញុំផ្ទាល់នៅមជ្ឈមណ្ឌលឯកសារកម្ពុជាទេគឺសម្ដៅទៅ
And when it came to scan documents at DC CAM, did you by any chance have any conversations with him? Chúng ban dục ai cả xa, ai quạt scan, quạt ban xua, prap bằng hai nơi mình chỉ ai cả xa để quạt trong scan, hay nhóm ban dục ai cả xa nút, ai quạt thưa cả scan. All right, but I take it you didn't have a conversation with him or a discussion uh, with him pertaining to what was in the documents, the substance of them. But my main take is that you are a scammer. Look, Steve had the scan. All right. Now, going back to your background very briefly before I go into some of the other substantive areas of my questioning, uh, you're not a historian by training, correct? All right. And would you consider yourself a, an analyst? And concerning your educational background, as I understand it, it's in law. Is that correct? Can you please describe to us the specific training that you have received that would be relevant in you analyzing a document and determining that the document is indeed authentic? All right. Now, I noticed over the last day and a half that you've indicated that DC CAM, and in particular you, uh, have not analyzed documents. Is that correct? Now, in order for us to have this dialogue, if you could please explain to us what do you mean by analyze? What's your version of analysis? What do you mean by that? Jumpo Kavipir, some rap, Jum Babtoa, and I take it what you're telling us is they, you don't do that. You don't read a document to see whether a particular document is incriminating, inculpatory. ดังท่าตาไอ้กษาหนูเวียชีไอ้กษาดาวมือชีไอ้กษาทอดจำลองหรือคือชีไอ้กษาในขนมระบอบการบุชีบุชีตะบไตหรือก็ไอ้กษา
in your way of thinking, correct? Nếu ta mặc cho ta một việc để lục kết lục kết tha cao về tầm lấy hay là sẽ xem lại những cái bài viết analysis khó khăn này, ta lục vô thành chẳng bên thế. Chỉ cần tâm tư cứ nhung vô khơi thả vì khó khăn này. All right. Now, I notice that DC Cam publishes articles, newsletters, and in fact, as I understand it, you yourself have also published. Is that correct? ចំបានសរសេរអត្តបទនៅក្នុងទស្សនាវដ្ដីស្មែរកាបិតរបស់ខ្ញុំដោយសារកម្ពុជាផងដែរ Okay so you've authored articles Correct and the articles that you've authored uh, have been based in part on documents that you've read, correct? Correct. All right. When you say understanding, is that mean, does that mean that you read the article, you try to figure, you read the documents, you try to figure out what's in the documents, and then from there you draw a conclusion, and, and afterwards you put it on paper? Is that what you're telling us? But uh, uh, Alright, well let me just probe a little bit. Are you relying on secondary sources, that is, what others have commented on the documents, historians, analysts, and what have you, or do you go to the original documents, analyze those, synthesize what's in it, maybe even look at secondary uh, sources, and then from there uh, uh, draft your article? ตุลุมตะเลบันติกได้มันบานโยงตะลุมสมเนนามุยบอกบอกខ្ញុំជាក់លាក់ដែលខ្ញុំអាចមើលឃើញខ្លួនឯងបានអឺ what part of the question you didn't understand so i can reframe the question because i was talking about your method your approach as opposed to a particular article so what part of the question you did not understand that you would want me to repeat for you. ជាពិសេសគឺថាក្នុងការសរសេរអត្តបទធម្មតានៅក្នុងការសរសេរអត្តបទយើងមានវិធីសាស្ត្រផ្សេងៗនៅក្នុងការសរសេរនៅក្ន
bà pru nơi khnông ca chọn còn ai cả xã cứ miền bộc lập sinh tiết cho rùm nơi khnông chỉ thìm chỉ 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 còn mà all right but you're under oath you're under oath and you opposed the question and you gave us this answer so is it fair to say that you as a witness under oath are here telling us that all of the documents are authentic based on your knowledge alright now could you please shed with us a little bit the, the methodology that you yourself use perhaps with others in determining that a particular document is authentic. But do chia nhóm ban từ thư ca promol ai cả xa nơi ban xa thản triệt và nơi khung này cứ nhóm ban an mơ từ lưỡi ai cả xa từng ở núi hay trong cái đó cứ nhóm ban Sanai sum thư ca thọ trầm lòng ai cả xa núi mò pi ban xa thản triệt đòi miền nhẹ cục rong ai cả xa đào nơi ban xa xa thản triệt tại một đòn mà all right. Let me go back and rephrase my, uh, my question. I'm not asking you where you received them, unless, unless part of your answer is that if it came from the archive, the National Archive, that in and of itself makes the document authentic. Is that your answer? นี่จะการอุทธรณ์ได้จุดเรียบจูนโลกเมตตาวิธาเรียบในการเอ่อเอ่อยัดเทียมในเอกสารมวยหรือก็เอกสารมวยประเภทได้ขยมบานเอ่
in determining that a document was authentic. It's either, yes, we asked, and this is what we, they told us, or no, we didn't ask, or maybe, I don't know. It's one of the three. Pick one. Back. ຢ່າງນັ້ນມິສະເປຣຊິດແລະບໍ່ຄິດເປັນຄວາມຄິດເປັນຄວາມຄິດເປັນຄວາມຄິດເປັນຄວາມຄິດເປັນຄວາມ